Hi everyone. Okay, so th in this video for Math 2400, we're going to just quickly talk about the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. It just says that and if you have an inter integer greater than or equal to 2, then you can write it uniquely as a product of primes. Um, or the uniquely means, well, you can re rearrange all the primes, their order, but, um, but that's the only way to kind of uh, change the factorization. Okay, um, we already know that um, every integer is a product of prime, so the trick is now we have to take two factorizations and prove that they are unique. Okay, so basically we have to take two factorizations, P1 times P2 da -da 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 times PK, and look at another factorization with the same number, Q1 times Q2, da -da 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 times QL, then we have to show that um, we have to show that the same primes occur uh, and the same number of times. Okay, and actually, um, I'm gonna do some like yeah. There's basically what we have to do is if we can show that. Uh, P1 is equal to one of the primes on the right hand side, then we can cancel those off and then apply induction. So um, I technically that's what we should do, but you know if we can prove that P1 is equal to one of the primes on the right hand side, well I'll call it Q1. So if we can prove that P1 equals Q1, then we can cancel. Then if we can show that P2 equals another prime, Q, QI, then we can cancel those. And one by one, we're gonna, we can cancel all the primes on the left-hand side, right, with one of the primes on the right-hand side. And uh, we have to be able to do that. And then um, eventually we, we're left with like one on the left-hand side. Well, the only way to write one, like no prime can divide one, so we have to have one on the right-hand side. And it means that, um, you know, all the primes have been matched up with one of the, all the primes on the left have been matched up with one of the primes on the right, and so they were really the, the same factorization. Okay. So let's just try and show that P1 is equal to one of the primes on the right-hand side. Okay. So P1 divides Q1, Q2, up to QL. Well, that's just by definition of divides, you know, P1 times blah. This, this chunk of primes equals the product of the Q's. Okay, so if P1 equals Q1, that's what we want, so we're, we're basically done. Okay, now if P1 is not equal to Q1, um, well, these are two prime numbers, and so if they're different, their GCD must be one. Right, so why is that? Um, why do two different prime numbers have GCD1? Well, if they had a common divisor that was, that was bigger than one, um, this common divisor wouldn't be equal to P1 and it wouldn't be equal to one, so it would mean that like P1 was not prime, okay? Okay, maybe we should do that in class today too. Okay, um, anyways, so if P1 and Q1 are different, their GCD is one. Well, the lemma we showed uh, in the last video says that if, since P1 divides Q1 times Q2 up to QL, and GCD of P1 and Q1 is one, that means that P1 divides Q2 up to QL, the product, okay? And now we're in a similar situation. If P1 divides this product, either P1 equals Q2 or P1 divides the rest of the product of the primes. Okay. And so eventually P1 has to match up with one of the primes. Like either it's Q2 or you can, or you can cross off Q2. And then either it's Q3 or you can cross off Q3. Um, and you can't do that forever. Eventually it has to match up. Okay, so anyways, P1 equals some QI and you cancel those off and you go back to the, you go back up 
and try and show that uh, P2 equals one of the primes. And, the, and you just go through the same procedure and eventually you just match up all the P's with all the Q's and, and that's it. Okay, and I also wanted to show you uh, another way that the fundamental theorem of arithmetic is sometimes written. Sometimes it's more uh, useful to write it instead of just a product of primes. To say, we can say that every integer greater than or equal to 2 can be written uniquely as a product of prime powers. P1 to the E1, P2 to the E2, da -da -da -da, times PK to the EK, where P1, P2, up to PK are distinct primes and e1, e2 up to ek are all greater than or equal to 1. Or even another further way is to write, you can write n as a product over prime over p prime um, and write p to the uh, let's write it like you can actually write n as an infinite product if you want where um, you know this VP is zero for uh, all the primes that don't occur in the factorization of n. So let's we we can just do a quick example. You know of the what these theorems say about like thirty six for example, so thirty six that's. 2 times 18, well that's 2 times 2 times 9, and that's 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Okay, so the fundamental theorem of arithmetic says we have this factorization of 36 into a product of primes. The primes are 2, 2, 3, 3. Okay, or we can write, you know, we can combine all the 2s, combine all the 3s. Then we get 2 squared times 3 squared. Or we can write it as 2 squared times 3 squared times 5 to the 0 times 7 to the 0. You know, write all the primes here, but write their exponents as 0. Okay. You can write it as this infinite product, but most of the terms in the product are just one, so they just um, don't matter. Okay. And so knowing prime factorizations tells you a lot about certain you know numbers. For example, I also know um, 48. What's that? Well, that's just... Um, 3 times 16, which is 2 to the 4th. Oops, not plus. Okay, and so you can tell that the GCD of 36 and 48, well, you can compare exponents, right? Um, the biggest power of 2 is there's a square, uh, 2 squared in 36, so there's a 2 to the 4th in 48, so the biggest power of 2 is 2 squared, and there's a 3 to the 1st power in 48 and a 3 squared in 36, so the biggest power is just, or sorry, the smallest power is 3, 3 to the 1. Okay, so the GCD is actually 12. Okay, um... So that is all to tell you that knowing prime factorizations are um, are really useful for certain computations like this. 
and I guess I'll stop the video there. Okay, um, thanks for watching.